CEO Ron Wickler from Create the Difference. I want to talk to you a little bit about bowling balls and cracking. One of the main reasons bowling balls crack is because the edge of the holes is too sharp. Let me show you some examples that you may not even think about. This ball right here is actually a brand new bowling ball. And you can see that that's got a real sharp edge there. But if you put this magnifying glass on it, you go right over top of it, you can really see exactly how sharp that edge is. See how sharp that edge is? And that is what started the crack in the bowling ball. started here and it went all the way down and it's continued to go the rest of the way. Now, same thing over here. This is also another brand new bowling ball, right? So take a look at this one. Same concept. That pin has started that crack because that hole was way, way, way too sharp. Now, conversely speaking, over here, we have another bowling ball. This bowling ball is drilled. Obviously, the crack started once again at a sharp spot. We go over the hole. You can take a look at it. You can see, see how sharp that edge is. That edge is what's creating that crack. Now, here's the bad part, right? When these balls begin to crack, the cover stock and the core are actually bonded together. So you can actually crack the ball all the way through the core. Look, you can actually see that too. Matter of fact, let's look, let's look at that in the magnifying glass real quick. So in the magnifying glass, you can see, oh, you really can't see the angle, but you can see it that way. You can see it this way. You can see, you can see it that way, that the white is actually attached uh, to the ball. Same thing on these other two bowling balls, obviously, over here. Look over here. The white's obviously attached. The core is attached to the shell. Now, so you say, okay, well, what are you telling me, Ron? How is this going to help me at all? Well, you can't do anything about this, right? This is a manufacturing situation that they would have to deal with. They would have to bevel this hole out uh, in order to be able to help mitigate some of this cracking from happening from the pen. But you can, and or your pro shop can help you when it comes to cracking around the finger holes. One of the things that you can do is actually bevel the holes or have the holes beveled or smoothed out so they're not so sharp. Here's an example of another bowling ball that hasn't had those holes beveled and actually is starting to crack already. You can actually see that. Let's get it right over here. You can see that crack right there forming. And because that crack is forming, right where? Because the hole's so sharp. So all you need to do is go to your pro shop and ask them, hey, can you make sure that my holes are beveled? Or in this case, as I'm going to show you, we're actually going to bevel the hole ourselves. We actually have a, what's called a bevel sander. You just kind of go in and out like so. Round that edge off by rounding that edge off. It's going to help, go back over it again, it's going to help to put a little uh, smoothing edge over there. That smoothed edge is going to actually help to have the bowling ball not be as prone to cracking as it would be if you had that super sharp edge. So that's one of the things that you should do and you can do, not only on the finger holes, but on the thumb hole too to help mitigate cracking. If you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.